Hi everybody, my name's Sherry Hunt from Living Well Cancer Resource Center. Today we're going to talk about gratitude. It's November, it's the perfect month to start your gratitude um, tin, jar, whatever you want. We're going to do daily gratitude every day and I'm going to show you how to create a vessel to keep your um, thoughts in. Okay, so I've got a lot of little things here that I'm going to show you. Trader Joe's is awesome right now. They've got the holiday um, cookies. You could get them in a star shape. Uh, they've got tea, um, all sorts of different tins. I love tins. You can have Altoids or ice chips and use these for your um, jar or David's cookies. You can use this for your gratitude. And then also if you go to Hallmark, they have tins that are already made up. You can get these already made, but we're making our own. This is just going to give you an idea of um, what you can do with it. Getting paper using um, paint or metallic markers, embellishing with it with rickrack, whatever you'd like on the outside. Um, you can always put a business card or a little intention inside. I love the idea um, covering the tops and bottoms of your tins and then having something inside to so it's not just your metal tin. And these are really nice because they're ma magnetic. So you could always put a little um, magnet in there with a little word or just a little spark of joy inside. I do have some recipe boxes. Um, you can get those at estate sales. Goodwill is really good for those. People snag them up, so you want to get them pretty quick. This is nice if you wanted to do a perpetual um, gratitude all year long. You could do that. This is just mine. I took some gelatin prints. I love dictionary. I love crows. Um, and look at here's a, a little magnetic. Um, it's mag there's some magnets inside, so things are <laughs> sticking to the outside. How great is that? So you could even take washi tape, cover these up. Um, today we're going to do just some cut up paper. So I mentioned uh, Hallmark. Hallmark has some great um, artists that do their bags. This is Barb Mitza, Mitzka, I think, and um, keep your heart brave and your imagination wild. So you could actually cut this off right here and put it right onto a tin. Um, it could be, you know, part of it if you want to do brave and wild imagination and just use those words. You can use magazines, um, Xerox copies of photos if you want to include family members. You can take your own art um, and put it on your boxes, rice papers, different tissues. It's so much fun. There are even books if you go to Joann's or Michael's. This is called The Thankful Heart. It's a book about gratitude. So all the pages inside I've already kind of cut, but you can use some of the different words and cut it up. Um, but it's all just different things. You can look for um, books at Goodwill. This is um, For This I Am Grateful. So you can do something about pictures or cut these little quotes out. If you don't like to write, you can cut these out and use those um, for your, your jar. So the idea is to think of something that you're grateful every day. At the end of the day or the morning, you'll write something down, put it in your jar and have that. And maybe it's a time period. So at the end of the month, you could shake them all out, look at them and see how grateful your heart is. Being grateful changes our shift of our mind. Right now we might be angry with the uncertainty or a diagnosis, um, just not knowing a lot about anything right now with the chaos going on, right? With COVID and just a lot of different things. So gratitude is just, um, is, is kind of a, yeah, it's like working a muscle. So you have to do it every day to get in practice and it will help shift your perspective. So I'm going to show you how to create a tin and then we'll end up with our little daily ritual of what that looks like for you. Okay. So with Mod Podge, you're just going to get, um, Mod Podge. You can put a little water in with it. There's different matte gloss satin, um, that you can use. You're just using it as a sealer and a feel it finish. So you're going to put it right on your your tin or your jar. You're going to kind of coat the area and then you'll just take your pieces of cut paper and put it right on there. Now I want to make sure that if I have this over that I want to make sure there's Mod Podge underneath it. You always have to have Mod Podge underneath whatever you're putting on and then if you do you're just going to put it as a sealer too and coat that up. You don't want any bumps, so you really want a nice coat underneath. And then if it has a little brush strokes, I am using a, a sponge brush, but I can always just flatten that out and really get my um, 
corners and everything down. Sometimes it kind of bubbles. It's kind of nice if it bubbles and creases a little bit because then it looks like it's been that way for a long time. But you don't want too many bubbles where it's not sticking. The reason that would happen is if I put my Mod Podge on like this and I have an area that doesn't have any, you're going to get this huge bubble. So you really want to make sure that it's completely covered and then you can just do all sorts of things. You can mix and match if you want to do this all in tissue first and then um, you know, cut out some words from a magazine, kind of embellish with your words on top you can find a really great font and put gratitude on top of it. Um, and then what you're going to do is you'll just get um, post-its, uh, colored ones, if you want to cut up index cards, and just have a little pile ready for you and a pen, and you'll just write your um, what you're grateful for, rip it off, and put it in your tin each day. All right, so right now I'm going to show you what it looks like to set up a little place because like working out, you're going to put it on your calendar. You're going to go at one o'clock and work out. Same thing. If we don't have it in our mind to do the um, anything, right, it's not going to get done. So I'm going to show you. It's nice in the morning. If you're having a cup of tea or coffee, to have this on your, um, if this is your breakfast table, you can have a little flower. You can have a nice little um, picture. That's a picture that my daughter took and sent it to me for Mother's Day, which I love. You can have a little candle. And as you're having your cup of tea, you can open up your gratitude. And like I said, if you don't like to um, write something out, you could have a whole bunch of things or just type them out and then slice them with a paper cutter. And today it's hip hip hooray. There is joy in every day. I am balanced and free. So that's the one. I'm just going to put it in there. I can... Go on and start my day. At the end of the month, when I open all of these, they're just going to pour out. What fun. Almost like Christmas. And looking what back, looking back at what made you happy that day. What made you thankful and grateful that day. Um, like I said, you could also do a post-it note and write the same, the same thing. I love nature. Walks in nature right now. Um, and you could do that. You could even roll it. You can have it kind of be a fun thing if you want to roll it up um, with the post -it note. It, it will post it note. It will stick, or you can take a little bit of a hemp and so and wrap it um, with a little tie or a little baker's twine and just put it in there. So then, when you're unwrapping it, it's almost like a present that you're giving yourself that you're that you're feeding your soul. So here's one I did. Um, it's just another little tin box. Um, finding gratitude. I love that how the hands are holding my heart. This is my favorite line. The spiral, ever changing. Um, so you can really do repeated pictures. This is just from a magazine. I went to Walgreens. Oprah's magazine was all about gratitude, so I use that. Um, it's kind of nice that it's not over the pictures so you can figure out where to place things. This is done just with Mod Podge like I showed you. I talked about nature. Um, so I took a little bit of rice paper with grass in it and that's my cover. It's a nice little thing. It doesn't take up too much room and it can be a practice that you could do every day. Practice gratitude everyone and happy Thanksgiving.